is a party. You're being paid to entertain us. Hey, what's going on down here? I heard all the hooping and hollering. What would you guys stop for? Mrs. Bennett, that is a very, very good question. I mean, Sheridan and I were having such a great time with these dancers, and then all of a sudden they got all shy and embarrassed. And the party's not over yet. Now, is it, Teresa? Not by a long shot. Oh, oh yeah! Oh. Oh. Teresa! Sheridan! Oh. All right, that's it! The fun's over. What are you talking about? Oh my God. Ethan. That's right. Disappointed? I do not believe the way you were acting. What are you doing here? I, I thought that you. It is obvious what you thought. Ethan and I figured it would be funny to replace the strippers who were paid to come here tonight. Yeah. We thought it would be funny. I mean, you and Teresa, uh, we thought you'd be completely embarrassed at the idea of two strange guys dancing and taking off their clothes in front of you. But I guess. Neither one of us knew you as well as we thought we did. Yeah. You can say that again. <laughs> hey, look, Hank, I know you have no idea what's going on here, okay? But let me just clue you in. It's not funny. Oh, uh, I wouldn't uh, exactly say that, man. It looks kind of uh, hilarious to me. <laughs> Hey, whose side are you on anyway? I got the feeling that we're missing something here. <laughs> I want you to have to drink. Not a drop. That's not why we're laughing. And it's not why we were falling all over you. Sheridan, should we tell them? I think we'd better. We may not be getting married tomorrow. Yeah. Look, Hank and Chad called us after you two got the crazy idea of replacing the professional strippers. <laughs> Wait. You knew it was us the whole time? Yeah. We knew before you walked through the door. And you guys were so dead serious about your jobs. I mean, that's all we could do to keep ourselves from busting up. But, oh, what moves you two came up with. Excuse me, Terry. I'll get my 